what's up guys welcome to my shop uh, this is now the home of the CNC and uh, I was up late last night messing with it so I apologize for the mess yeah I made this with the sharpie see the trick with the sharpie is uh, to have something that it can go up and down like this so I took some of the uh, this is from a CD drive and I just put a little spring on it here and then it uh, it always it's always riding at a certain constant pressure and you do you have to do this with pens too and the reason with the sharpie at least is that it wears off a little bit so then it would start not touching the surface and also if the surface is a little bit contoured like this piece of steel then uh, the sharpie will be able to follow it this dremel is like one of my favorite tools uh, mainly because it's barrel wall rpms and also it gets into very tight spaces and they have a whole different uh, array of attachments I've been thinking about doing some brushed patterns on steel so Today I'm going to install this Dremel onto my CNC and we're going to attempt that. See I made these brush patterns with the drill press and so my idea is uh, to do some more intricate designs on, on my next guitar. First thing I want to do is attach the, the Dremel like so, make myself a little frame. See my truck is a mess, my shop is a mess, but my house, thanks to my wife, is immaculate. I'm not sure if I'm even allowed in there. bit warm in here today uh, we're approaching 100 degrees shit that's cool
it, I left a little gap here so that uh, when I put the screw in I have room to move downwards and create some pressure on the on the tool guys this thing is in here solid it's just not going anywhere so uh, I hear some Pokemon ghosts babe what the hell are you doing I'm catching Pokemon <laughs> okay maybe let's not do that focus man fits like a glove so these this system of holding the tools uh, didn't quite work out that well it's good to set it up temporarily but uh, I will have to put some clamps on these uh, to hold it tight I'll have to come up with a different system some sort of a quick release mechanism for all my tools so maybe you guys have an uh, ideas on how to do that. I'm going to start with this small brush right here. I'm going to cut me a piece of steel and go for it. Okay guys, so we're going to start with something simple here. It's just going to be three squares inside of each other. I set my depth per pass at three thousandths of an inch. That's the minimum. And, uh, and over here, I set my depth per pass at three thousandths of an inch. So it'll only go around once uh, per square. Wow, that looks so cool. It's probably hard to see it on video, but it has this depth to it when you uh, shine the light different ways. I want to try uh, more complex designs. See how that works. It's hard to see it on video, but it has this, it looks kind of like 3D. Love it, man. I have this piece of aluminum, or aluminum, depends on where you live. But it's obviously a much softer metal, and I want to see what kind of results I get with it. Okay guys, I'm going to pull in one of these designs that are in this design library and I kind of like this one, it's a little Celtic art. Now one thing here, I can go to machine uh, setup, advanced, I want my safety height to go a little bit 
further up than the default setting. And that's, uh, I put in a quarter of an inch. And then on my machine inspector, you can see that everything is in zero here. So that means the machine is homed. Material thickness, in this case, it doesn't matter because I'm not routing. It's not going down. It's, it's just going to go around once. Bit size, I'm going to say it's a quarter of an inch, although it just doesn't really matter. And here, now that the machine is homed, I'm going to confirm the, that home position. Okay, now I'm going to say uh, raise the bit. Guys, sometimes these bristles come loose. When that happens, the only place they want to go is straight into your eyes. So, protection. Here we go. That looks really awesome. It seems to have melted the aluminum, so it created this really interesting texture. And I think it went a little too long. It, this, this whole thing took about 12 minutes. Uh, and look at the brush, it's just had it. So uh, shorter runs would be better, but wow, that is so cool. It works a lot better in uh, aluminum. You see it kind of melted the aluminum everywhere. It's killer, man. I appreciate all your comments. Most of you guys are really great people. I haven't had any trolls except for fart attack. You're a troll, man. I have to block you from my content because you're just a nasty person. The thing about this day and age that we live in is that knowledge is free. You no longer have to pay to get that knowledge. I've gotten more education out of YouTube than high school and college combined. Channeling my inner bitch. <laughs>